Hello everyone, hope you had a nice Christmas. Uh, I was ill, but never mind, so were plenty of others. And uh, today I just thought I'd take a little walk down the river. Uh, I was hoping to come with a couple of mates, but uh, one of them's working and the other one, well, not in the best of health at the moment, so get well soon, buddy. But uh, I was starting to suffer from cabin fever, to be honest. The, uh, the weather that we had over Christmas was just rain, 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 and more rain and wind, and you know, just generally pretty miserable. So today's the first day that it's been kind of fine. So I thought you might like to join me for a walk along the river and see what it's like during the wintry flood season. A far cry from what it's like in the summer. So uh, hope you enjoy this little video and uh, look forward to uh, the summer. Roll on. We haven't even been able to go fishing. It's been that flooded and miserable, but never mind. Right, let's take a wander. So starting on the White Bridge. And for those of you who've seen some of the other videos in the summer months, you can literally walk across there. So I'd say we're probably up about a meter at least. But at least it's dry. So we'll have a little wander downstream. So yeah, this is the river Froom. And actually it's not quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And all the debris that's collected over the weir is now gone, which is good news. There was a bit of work went on earlier this year where the factory opposite moved a huge fallen tree. I wish now for the fishing gear to be honest, but it's only a short walk just to get out. I've just come past what's known as Canteen Corner. And there's a few eddies there and I dare say there are some fish holed up in the bank or close to the bank. It does actually look quite inviting. So we'll carry on further down the fields here. Catch up with you soon. I haven't been down here for a while. And uh, as I say, mother nature has been working her magic. That fallen tree there has now been pushed right across to the far bank because earlier on in the year it was literally right across the river and uh, I think it's about four years ago now our local angling club stopped approximately 500 barbel and uh, to date I hold the record for the only one being caught which I caught from this very spot I think it was about two years ago so I'm told that they disappear naturally for a while some would have obviously been eaten by predators but it'd be nice to see more of them when they come back in the future hopefully a bit bigger than the one I caught which was about 12 ounces
I just find it quite therapeutic. Yeah, it's not exactly beach combing, but you do find a few things washed up. Anyone for golf? Nah, I'd rather be fishing. Now at this point, the river gets a little bit wider, so you can see that the flow has started to slacken off a little, but it's still considerably faster here than what it is at all other times and this is one area that we haven't had much success in all the fish tend to prefer the slightly faster stretches upstream but that's not to say that there's a few good fish in here because we know from the odd one or two that there are. But it's nice to see that uh, some of the features remain, but a lot of the debris has been washed downstream. fish at this time of year won't be very active the water temperature having fallen considerably they'll now be pretty much burrowed into the banks until around about April May June but uh, at least the fish will have plenty to gorge on along with the other wildlife. Well, I was hoping guys to continue on downstream on foot, but uh, that's not gonna be possible. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but yeah. The land's just been so wet, no match for these. And I don't really fancy getting a boot full today. So uh, perhaps I'll hop in the van and uh, continue the journey along the lane and just show you a little bit more of our lovely river fruit. So yeah, we've certainly had some rain. say it again. I wish I'd have brought a rod with me. Never mind. There's always tomorrow. So apart from the levels and the discoloration, it looks perfect. Absolutely perfect for fishing.
so there we go that's just a few of our stretches another three months to go of the course season which closes on March the 15th and if any of you are local to the Froome area or surrounding you want to get in contact with the Froome Angling Club to inquire about uh, getting a license to fish along the river it's lovely well I hope you've enjoyed this guys I'm not going to venture over there, but uh, you get the picture. So keep well, everybody. Have a fantastic 2023. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.